Terrence Crawford will be the next undisputed welterweight champion. Uh, he, he was undisputed at 140. I told guys two years ago, or a year, no, about two years ago, that Terrence Crawford can compete at 147. People laugh like, man, he's going to be too small. But he got his first test versus Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn is very strong. Jeff Horn is very rugged. Actually, Jeff Horn can box a little. In his last fight, he showed that he can box. He didn't really bang with that guy. He boxed with that guy. But Terrence Crawford is a different level. Terrence Crawford is a level, to me, above Jeff Horn as far as skill set, as far as fighting and everything. Terrence Crawford got dog in him, and he can and he can box. And he can turn southpaw as well as uh, fight orthodox at an equal level. And now, you know, everybody... Everybody's getting kind of mad because he called out Errol Spence. Because everybody want to have a narrative that everybody's ducking Errol Spence. That's the narrative. And when Terrence Crawford said Errol Spence is not the best at 147, he chose Keith Thurman as being the best at 147. Everybody had a problem with that. He said, he told Max Kellerman, and he told Stephen A. Smith when he was on first take, that you can, you can believe what you want to believe, but I know... I'm picking Keith Thurman as being the best welterweight right now. And he said, Earl Spence is not a bad fighter, but he's going to beat Earl, F Earl Spence. And he said he's going to take Earl Spence apart. Now, is it going to be easy for him to beat Earl Spence? No, it's not going to be easy because Earl Spence himself is a dog. Earl Spence doesn't get tired in the ring. Earl Spence does keep coming. He reminds me of a Antonio Margarito. To me, he's no really, no really no different than Antonio Margarito. He has one speed. Antonio Margarito had one speed. If you learn how to neutralize that one speed, he has no plan A, I mean, no plan B, no plan C, no plan D. Crawford, just like Kell Brook. But Kell Brook was not not consistent enough at keeping Earl Spence in the center of the ring. When they was boxing in the center of the ring, he was beating Earl Spence. Now, Earl Spence was able to, to wear him down, break his orbital bone, and ultimately stopped uh, Carol Brook. And, you know, he get all the credit in the world for doing that. But Terrence Crawford is a different animal. Terrence Crawford will be more consistent than Brook was. And Terrence Crawford will win a unanimous decision. Earl Spence is strong. Earl Spence come to fight. So, no, it's not going to be easy. But what I said is he's going to be him technically easy. It's going to be easy technically. He's going. What I mean by that, he's going to break him down. He's going to keep him mostly in the center of the ring. He's going to turn him. He even may, may switch from southpaw to righty to throw him off. See, Terrence Crawford can do multiple things in the ring. He brings multiple things to the ring. Earl Spence will have to, in sparring, Earl Spence will have to spar with righties and lefties because he never know what Terrence Crawford is going to do. Never know if he's going to fight two rounds southpaw, two rounds uh, orthodox, or he may decide to fight the whole fight softball, or he may fight the whole fight orthodox. So that's why I said Earl Spencer has more to worry about. Now, what Crawford needs to worry about is staying off the ropes, keeping Earl Spence off his body as much as possible, keep turning him in the center of the ring, use your jab. Terrence Crawford got one of the best jabs in the business. Earl Spence don't move his head. He will be getting hit. To me, Terrence Crawford, from, I'm going to say from the third fight I've seen him, Terrence Crawford has been fighting a different type of fight. Because at first, Terrence Crawford was mixing it up with more defense, and he was fighting offense. Now, when we seen the fight with Postal, we seen him go back to his defensive uh, aspect. He seen that Postal was, was taller, longer. So what he do? He fought from the outside. He broke Postal down from the outside and then got Postal... All frustrated. Same thing he's going to do to Earl Spence. He's going to get him frustrated. And then what he started doing? He started coming in and he started walking Postal down. So don't be surprised as Crawford started walking uh, Earl Spence down. I won't be surprised because I know what the man can do. I've seen him do it in the ring. I've seen him multiple times uh, have go to plan B, go to plan C. Go to He did it against um, Gamboa. Gamboa was winning the fight. I give Gamboa a lot of credit. He was winning the fight. Crawford made an adjustment, and then he started dominating, dominating the fight, and he stopped him. So, like I said, the narrative out there is out there is that nobody wants to fight Earl Spence. Everybody ducking Earl Spence. You have Mikey Garcia, 
two weight classes down and call out Earl Spence. I distinctly remember when Mikey Garcia called out Keith Thurman, everybody was up in arms saying, man, he called out Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman must not be nothing. Okay, so now he called out Earl Spence. So what that makes Earl Spence? See, everybody want to keep the narrative that Earl Spence is being ducked by everybody. But his fighters, fighters didn't want to fight him. It's Jeff Horn said he wanted to fight him. Jeff Horn said he wanted to fight everybody at 147. He said he wanted to fight Keith Thurman as well. So the narrative that everybody is ducking or don't want to fight uh, Earl Spence, that's false. You even had a guy, like I said, it was two weight classes below him calling him out. Jesse Vargas said he would fight Earl Spence. So, look, man, it is what it is. I know people want to sensationalize that, want to make like Earl Spence more than what he is. Earl Spence is a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? He's a really good fighter. He beat a really good opponent in Carroll Brook. But we'll see. We'll see if he can beat Terrence Crawford, which I don't believe he's going to beat Terrence Crawford. And a lot of people are getting beside themselves because Terrence Crawford is calling him out the way he's calling him out. You see, everybody loved the fact that they were holding on to the fact that Keith Thurman wasn't calling out Earl Spence the way they wanted Keith Thurman to call out Earl Spence. Now, Terrence Crawford is calling out Earl Spence and being very, very vocal about it now people is looking looking at Terrence Crawford like he being disrespectful towards Earl Spence. But like I said, Terrence Crawford is gonna be undisputed at 147. I'm out.